Okay, I'm going to show on the Korg Chromatic O2-120 how you adjust the uh, needle on here. And so, on this particular unit, if I go through and take, turn this on, in listen mode, I got it set to 440. It's actually in play mode. If I put it to listen mode, and I take this calibrator, you can see that it reads about a little bit low here. The way you align this is you go through, turn it off, hold down the note button, turn this on. You can see the needle on here is not centered. Again, first while I was doing this, I thought you had to continuously hold this down. You just hold this left note button down, turn it on, the needle should be centered. Now in the back where the batteries are, there's a little bitty hole. And the reason mine, when I bought this brand new, it was fairly close to where it needed to be. And then, dumb me, I went through and uh, said, well, let me take it apart to see if there's an adjustment on this. And so I thought, wrongly, that that little hole there was a hole to take this case apart. You actually just have one screw here, and you can go around with a knife and pop it apart. But under here, there's a variable resistor. Uh, it's called VR2. And I don't know if you can even see that. If I, it's way down in there. And it's really small. When I say small, it's about that big. It's a little bitty surface mount uh, potentiometer. And then it only goes through and has one rev. So when you're putting down in here, you can see a little slot in here. You put a screwdriver. You're just going to move this a little bit. If you go one rev, you've already gone back on itself. So the adjustment on here is going to go up to here. Then it's a flop back and go back up again. You're just going to be chasing yourself in a circle. So you just need to put a screwdriver in there and move this to be centered. But it's a little bit touchy. And these are not made to go through and be used for many revolutions. You know, they have a life of just a few, usually a couple hundred uh, skirts because it wears off the surface. And so if you turn this on, like I've got it here, and at first I thought a uh, plus screwdriver, a Phillips, would be better. And I found with these little cheap Walmart screwdrivers, um, just find one that will fit. And I found one, a slotted one, works better. So slotted instead of a Japanese called a plus and a minus. If I put this in here, it really doesn't have the, there you go. I think sometimes you're really not adjusting it, which means the screwdriver is kind of flopping around. So there I've got the needle centered. Now, if I turn it back on and off again, put this into listen mode. This is set to 440 here with the calibrate button. I'm going to turn on this little calibrator. There, it's pretty much lined up. Before, it was about, I don't know, 10 or 15 cents too low. Then, if I want to say, well, is this lined up, I can take my phone here. Here's a tuning amp called Tuner Time. Set that up there. Turn this on. It's got bands going horizontally. If I take the old Korg here, put it in sound mode. And if I go through and adjust this to be 441, you can see it's going vertical. Lifting up. There's 439. It's going down. That's the Korg O2 
OT120, the calibration. Again, I goofed mine up because I thought that was a screw to go through and take it, take it apart because I thought there was some other thing. So I put a screwdriver in there and just turned around, turned around, didn't do anything. So I ended up goofing up this setting because I thought that was a screw to take the case off. Hold the note button down, turn it on. You don't have to hold it on. At first I thought you had to do that. And there it is. Now if this gets bumped around, uh, this may go off a little bit, but that's how you check it. That's the Korg OT, OT120. I think I paid, those are about anywhere from 90 bucks to 120